Hey YouTubers, I'm going to show you how to revive a Ryobi lithium 18 volt battery. So this will be a P102, P102. What happened was, I'll, I'll give you a little explanation real quick. I was, I put it in the charger because it went dead, of course. And I totally forgot it for a whole week. When I went to use the battery, it was completely dead. And I tried to recharge it on the charger and it just kept on repeating defective battery, defective battery. So I went online and I, I started looking at wired, I mean not the wired, in, like the internal diagram of the battery. And there was a couple photographs of the battery you know apart and they they explain they show little pictures of the positive and negative so basically i took that idea without opening it without opening this case even though i did open it but without opening this case this battery pack all i did was i took my ryobi drill with a one inch inch drill bit and basically I drilled accordingly to the internet picture. And I just drilled a hole here right on the R on the Ryobi. Which I already drilled it. Then did another side over here on the lithium on the M. The hole's already there. Here. Let me see if focus here. Right there, see the little metal piece? There's the other metal piece. That's the terminals from the inside where the positive and negative go. So basically if you set the battery like this, I put a minus here for negative. Hopefully you can see that. Negative. Then I put the positive over here, the plus for the positive on this side so basically what I did was I took my what you call it my pyramid power supplies which it goes up to 15 volts on DC and I boosted up with some some spare wires that I had so I just put put the negative over here Put the positive over here and boost it up for like a two minutes maybe. So let me show you the voltage how I read this. I'm just trying to do a quick video here. Voltage. Negative. Positive. 18.3 volts. So basically you just boosting up the pack feet and then you just pop it back in the charger. Boom, it'll recognize the voltage on the battery. I, I believe when I first tested it, it was below five volts and this got it like a circuit board inside where it goes, if it goes be, below the voltage, it'll start working. So it's gonna tell you to replace the battery. But this is just a video if you can revive your battery and you don't have to spend what $39 on the battery like this when you can just revive your same battery so that's all I wanted to explain to you and thanks for watching my video hope this video helped a lot alright thanks for watching